Okay, so we've got the Xbox uh, X series ready to go and videoed, and now we're moving on to the more interesting Turtle Beach Velocity One flight control system, and uh, this looks like it might be very nice. Again, multiple sealing strips to undo. Very heavy. So hidden in the back here of all this egg carton type material, we've got a little booklet. Oh, it's a pouch containing a booklet, I guess. And that all lifts out. Again, great packing. No complaints with uh, any of this. I think that's where a lot of the weight is. We have, well, I don't know what we've got in there. We've got various things in there. Velocity One Flight User Guide. We've got some sort of template. And that one comes out and reveals the quadrant. Exchangeable quadrant lever ends or caps. Got a USB cable. Yeah, I think they're USB and they power. Right, let's go into this. That is some packaging. Wow. Okay, so let's sit down and readjust the camera here. Right. Well, there we go. There is the main unit. There's a clamping mechanism built into this. So let's have a look. So we've got part of that mechanism is here. Don't know how that works, we'll have to look at the instructions. But underneath, yeah, not too much to talk about. Some rubber pads. Hold that in place and feel the movement. Yeah, it's very smooth. Nice central detents. So that is all good. The plastic used on these buttons is, um, yeah, not very nice at all. Very cheap grey plastic. The uh, little buttons mimicking the Xbox controller look nicer in a gloss plastic. Let's just turn this around so you can see what I'm talking about. So again they are labelled up as the normal controller. Nice shiny 
it's high quality plastic same with the button there button here but they just really seem to have lost it on these nasty hats toggle switches uh, yeah I'm not seem very impressed with that now let's have a look at the buttons on the front so we've got a b x and y xbox button a few others we've got a little screen on here i think we'll leave the cover on at the moment up down a tick and back so that is all good we've got a lot of whether you're going to be able to see much of this Let's see if i turn the yoke uh, we've got various warnings here master warning master caution engine oil temperature fuel low uh, exhaust gas temperature altitude altitude why would they have that altitude warning and on the other side if we spin this around and you can see we have parking brakes landing gear flaps down stall warning volts low and autopilot so all selectable uh, no idea what we can do on the screen I doubt it's a touch screen that's why you've got the buttons here but it'll be nice to have something on the display there okay and this lifts up and we've got a whopping great big allen key in there and uh, two allen keys that it will fit in there is that magnetic yes it is that's a nice touch but what do they control i have no idea uh, maybe something to do with uh, the table clamp inside here we've got uh, a usb or two usb c's one is showing a monitor symbol and usb and the other one i'm not sure what that symbol is have a look at the uh, symbol there i'm not entirely sure what that is nothing on the back nothing on the other side obviously the quadrant will go in here so let's have a look at that okay so well, this is quite a bit lighter we've got some inserted holes here you can screw something into this and a few other holes just for the screws we've got four silicon feet and obviously that slots into the yoke which we'll do in a minute so we've got trim here that is very smooth and oh that's very nice that moves very smoothly just the right amount of friction on that <coughs> okay so these again i just don't like this plastic that they've used uh, you can clearly see the seam on there you know, just two stuck together halves just don't like that very much right so oh gosh yeah really loose I assume that can be tightened up can it well I don't know so you've got a detent position there on all of them but that to me feels far too loose it's this one at the end it's so loose it just a little tap and you've gone from up here off the only one that's okay is this one at the end you can knock that around that is about as loose as I would have wanted these and they get gradually worse as they move to this end 
and that's quite disappointing I have to say they're even just moving this around yeah that's not acceptable is it so if that isn't adjustable in some way I think this will be going back because that is certainly not not acceptable in my book as I say they get progressively tighter as you get to that far end that is how I'd expect it to be this one here this is not acceptable it's loose in the detent as well you can go straight past the detent compared to this one yeah quite hard to push it past certainly if you were flicking that down you'd have to flick it down quite hard this one yeah that's not acceptable so this is a fail I'm really really surprised this was uh, around the 300 pounds region so uh, yeah and if they aren't adjustable and I'm not seeing how they are then that sucks Hmm, interesting. We'll, we'll have a look in the manual. Now these, we've got throttle, propeller and mix. Again, quite nasty plasticky buttons or you know, caps on the end there. Just not very nice. The action is smooth enough. And then you've got a row of buttons now that is all good but there appears to be absolutely no way to adjust the friction of these control arms oh, I mean that's just useless can you imagine it's going to be flapping around <laughs> it's already flapping around it's not even been used uh, let's have a look at the um, what we get here and we'll see if there's anything that's adjustable but I really don't think there is Uh, quick start guide yeah can you help yeah need replacement parts yeah probably a new uh, complete quadrant totally unex unacceptable that is we have some oh, please register the product we have some overlays Not quite sure oh I suppose they're for these buttons can you stick something over those buttons is that about the right size no they're too big so in that case it is for these yeah it is they're not stuck on labels at the moment so all the buttons on the front here you can replace with a range on here there's another one there different We've got white ones, uh, these look smaller so I'm assuming that they will go on here. Yeah, we've got smaller labels for just about everything you can think of uh, for the quadrant. And we've got a quick start guide, that's telling you what's in there. Yeah, nothing about TPM linear levers, linear controls for throttle, prop and mixture on light aircraft, uh, rotational levers, realistic, yeah I don't think so. Now I cannot tell you how disappointed I am that that is such poor quality and quality control. hideous plastic and then we've got another booklet oh, this is a fold out, I hate fold out sheets there's nothing worse might be for a reason though, maybe there's a map oh so here we go, this is why they've done that so you could in fact have all of these in one place just an explanation of all of the parts, what the buttons do, how they are set up in a flight simulator. 
Um, yeah, quick access to flight simulator, what to do if you're a total beginner. And on the other side, we've just got how to attach the quadrant, how to clamp it to a desk, how to secure it in other methods, uh, connect the cables. Oh, I think you've got to connect the quadrant here with a cable. Yeah, of course you have. Yeah, because there's no. I was thinking there was uh, electronic connections uh, between the two, but no, it's not at uh, that level, <laughs> obviously. Um, Yeah, uh, that's about it, isn't it? I think we have some replacement quadrant levers. And again, they are that nasty plastic. We've got some other bits in there. You know, I'm not going to open these because I suspect I'm going to be sending this back. Got the cables, don't need to open the USB cables, the overlay. Uh, ah, I see. So, what they've done, in case you want to alter something and use your own setup with the buttons, they have produced an overlay which will go over there. It is on a magnetic mechanism. So, actually, is it two there? Oh no, I've pulled the other one off. Oh, I see the whole lot's magnetic. Okay. So, we've got all of the LED lights in here, if you can see them. And then these just, these overlays just come off. So, you can uh, use the default one, or you can set up your own and stick those labels on. So, uh, yeah. Surprised that moves around quite so much. Uh, it's quite a slippy surface, and the magnetic content of uh, this plastic is not going to be very high. So, but again, it shouldn't cause an issue. You wouldn't be banging any of this around. Uh, so, yeah, main problem is these. It's just not acceptable. The only one that is, in my opinion, is this one at the end. Uh, so we'll be contacting them about that, I think, because should... no, that's not acceptable. That's the end of the story. If this was a hundred quid quadrant, I wouldn't be happy with that. And never mind the three hundred and something quid one. Uh, so well, this review didn't quite go as uh, as I expected it would. Uh, this slots together like so. So it's all joined. It's got to be clamped down, obviously. It's very easy to rock the whole thing. And at the button on the back here, you press and uh, pull that out. So, yeah. I'd like to say I was impressed, but I actually am uh, not that impressed. So, I don't like the plastic buttons. This is unacceptable, and uh, yeah, I don't like the plastic here either, or here. <sighs> I think they've skimped a bit on the quality. Parts of it look excellent, they really should have done better with uh, these parts for that price, I think. Could have been really good, um, but no, sorry. Not acceptable. I'll, uh, I'll contact them, see if we get any response, because that is clearly not adjustable. Uh, it's just way too loose. There, look, can't even stand up on their own weight. <laughs> Apart from the one at the end. Okay, I'll uh, report back and uh, let you know what the outcome is. It'll either be going back, which will really uh, ruin my plans for the Xbox. So, um, yeah, I guess in theory the whole lot might be going back. Oh dear, I'll update you in other videos.